All right, let's get this party started. To my knowledge, and you can correct me, because y'all the historians, you guys are the scholars, you got the information. To my knowledge, it was J. Edgar Hoover, the uh, director of the Central Intelligence Agency in the 1960s, 50s, or whatever. It was him who said in a memo or talked about the rise of a black messiah. The fear of a black messiah who would come among black people or soul brothers and sisters who would be charismatic and have the ability to cause the people to rebel, cause civil war in this country. So it was the purpose of J. Edgar Hoover and the CIA, or FBI rather. It is their job and their duty to stop the rise of a black messiah. I guess the same way uh, in religious teachings, they talked about killing all the male babies, trying to stop some uh, savior leader, some great leader from being born to the uh, persons, the Israelites, who were under the subjugation of Egypt. Now, that's what he said. Now, did anybody black ever say this? That they were looking for some black messiah or divine messiah but when J. <laughs> J. Edgar Hoover said these things such a such thinking process is acceptable because that's how we are conditioned in the mind looking for some kind of divine savior some type of black superman some type of divine person to come and save us so we don't have to do a damn thing everybody on the earth fight, they die, they sacrifice, they suffer for their liberation against an oppressor. Oh, but no, not black folks. The only thing we got to do is sit on our ass and some divine savior is going to come from out of nowhere and save us. Here we are in 2022 and we are rallying around this person called the Black Authority or the Black Channel or Professor Truth, whatever the hell you want to call it, some faceless troll. A faceless troll. This man has no face. He doesn't have to show his face because he's the, 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 the divine one, the savior. And you're used to invisible spooks and spirits and images and you like to worship stuff. I remember the Black Authority back in the day. I believe I was probably on YouTube slightly earlier than him. But it was this faceless troll, and it was another faceless troll called the mayor of Blacktown. I guess the mayor of Blacktown, he lost steam. And the only reason why I lost steam was because YouTube Google terminated over 100 of my channels. Of course, I would not still get the type of traffic that the Black Authority gets because y'all hooked on that blackity black. I'm so black in the black national and the black African pan and the African. Y'all hooked on that dumbass shit that gets you nowhere. It's gotten us nowhere with that mindset. I went back and forth with the Black Authority. And a lot of the things, I can easily confess, a lot of the things that he say, I can agree with. I can concur. But the black authority is a black woman hater. 
That's why we didn't get along. He's a black woman hater. How the hell you are going to talk about black people this and black people that when you don't even like the black woman? When you listen to his talk, when it's all said and done, he blames the black woman. The black woman got a serious problem. Black men don't do a damn thing. And he's this, how can, woo, it's amazing. He don't have to show his face. He can, he can, he can be anonymous in this. Okay, that's cool. If you want to hide behind an avatar like that, that's, that's gravy. This is all good. But this is the this is this is the problem. The government know who he is. If the FBI and CIA, they know who he is. The internet service know who he is. YouTube, Facebook, wherever he take his happy ass, they know who he is. So why those of whom he's talking to, how come we don't? How, how come we don't get to know? Now, this man will come on YouTube and talk about my bald head or the clothes I wear. What, what, what. You don't have the right to talk about what nobody looks like. You hiding your coward ass behind a picture. We have white Jesus syndrome. The only thing you did was replace white Jesus with people like this. He's a faceless troll. He's what difference between the black authority and white Jesus? There's no difference. The same stuff. You worship, it's just an image. You fall in love with an image. He's a more modern image because of the video, but he's a, a image. We don't even know. Would you put your life on the line? Do you know if this man is black? We don't know if he's black or white or what. Don't show his face. He's a savior. Okay, let's look. Okay, we got here 132 subscribers. This man has taken in thousands and thousands of dollars. Y'all get, woo, how stupid. Oh, I see why you're in the condition that you're in. Some faceless piece of garbage can come on social media and you would give a faceless person that you can you can't check the background of this person at all you just in love with the talk he might be a rapist he might be a pedophile he might be an FBI agent you tripping off how he talk and he still ain't talking about nothing he just saw internet preacher a pastor. There's nothing real about him. How is he real hiding behind a picture? There's nothing real about him. <laughs> I remember back in the day I was making videos talking about faceless people, you know, how cowardly they are and fake. Somebody gonna tell me I'm working behind the scenes. Now, this was 10 years ago or longer. I'm working underground. I'm making moves. <laughs> no, I'm not going to chastise people. There's reasons why all of us. There's reasons why. You can be behind an avatar. You know, I, we respect your privacy. But when you come out, a lot of these people hide behind avatars. You got big mouths and you talk. Run your mouth. And you talk tough. And you make mockery of people that show their faces. Now we got a problem. What you look like, chump? So they, there's a secret society. They told me about this secret society, right? We working behind the scene. Well, that was 12 years ago or 10 years ago or whatever. This is 2022. What has this secret society of people 
working un under the ground or whatever they do. What have they done? What, what did they do for George Floyd? It was people who put boots on the ground that made the conviction of those police officers possible in the case of George Floyd or anything else that happened. People that show their face with their boots on the ground. The government know who you are. That's an excuse because you're a goddamn coward. It's simple as that. You're a coward. 132 subscribers. Let's say, for instance, out of 132 subscribers, let's say at least 500 are real hardcore supporters. You should be able to have 500 hardcore supporters. What do he produce? Got all this big ass mouth. Talking like. You know, doing the same old impression. Y'all impressed because somebody. Can quote. Statistics and. They read a book or whatever. What do you produce? You got all this. Help here. 132 subscribers. Do you create jobs? How much farmland you got? The first thing a real leader needs to do is to acquire food, clothing, and shelter for your for the people. Farmland? Are you building low-income housing? Do you control a city? Are you in a position to make laws? Are you in a position to control any resources? You the black authority, authority over the black or the authority over slaves. That's what you are, authority. Are you nothing, he's nothing but an overseer. And it's really pitiful and pathetic. And look at it, it's supposed to be so smart. Cynthia G, many of you are familiar with that lady. She wanted to debate this all wise and all knowing powerful man. And the only thing he did was talk about her weave and her makeup. That's all. But he's so smart. He's so intelligent. He's your savior. He's your messiah. That we all been waiting for. You don't have to like Cynthia G. But Cynthia G is an intelligent woman and she was bringing him a civil cordial intelligent debate and this clown made the black man look real bad along with Tariq Nasheed they both clowns but these are your strong figures these are your messiahs these are your saviors <laughs> we are so desperate for a savior we are so desperate for some kind of hero that we turn to some faceless avatar as some kind of revolutionary all the people this man look he using the face of a revolutionary. Eldridge Cleaver, Huey P. Newton, Malcolm X, Dr. Martin Luther King, all these people, they didn't hide behind avatars. And they faced the enemy. When was the last time? When was the last time he faced the enemy? Face to face. Faceless to the Peckerwood. <laughs> the internet is a joke. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Even when I was a child, I would not look up to no faceless cat as some kind of hero, even as a child. It just goes to show how pathetic y'all a bunch of losers.